All right, uh, let's get started. So the VC Map project is actually a two-part project and has been developed by Virtual City Systems in Berlin. And the idea behind it is, is that you have a core which deals with um, the GIS side of things and you have a UI that you pop on top to make it an actual application. Um, and both of these things are NPM packages which we've been uh, putting out there in the past year or so, uh, which you can freely use to do whatever. Um, and the fun bit about it is, is that it's not just based off of one renderer. So it does 3D, it does 2D, it even does oblique imagery. Um, and it's mainly used uh, by municipalities, at least on our end. It has a couple of cool features that I want to talk about, which we thought made it kind of nice, uh, especially for um, non-expert GIS users or GIS developers uh, to kind of get into it. And one of it is a context-based um, kind of configuration of your map. So you have a JSON file, uh, which represents all the stuff you want in your map, uh, even the type of views you want, if you only want a 3D viewer, if you want a 3D viewer and a 2D viewer, uh, what kind of vector data you want to use. We support a lot of OGC standards. And um, you can define styles uh, in multiple ways. You can define your viewpoints. And it's actually fairly humanly readable, so I edit this a lot myself. And we have some interfaces to edit it using uh, what you see is what you get kind of approach to it. Um, and you can load and unload these uh, contexts in your application, meaning that, uh, especially for city planning or uh, urban simulation, you can define a context which also defines your scenario, load it in, maybe even gate it behind some API where a user has to first authenticate, then load your models, uh, your 3D models, your simulation results into the context, and you can unload them again afterwards or even publish contexts to another service uh, to make them accessible to the public. And um, it also allows you to cascade context, so that's kind of neat. So you could have uh, your municipality define a couple of contexts for you, which are more likely basic roadmaps or coverage data that they provide. And you can then later um, augment that context by reusing the same identifier and maybe changing the style or changing the way a layer is represented in your map. Um, so that's one thing that we thought was kind of nifty. And the other thing we like is uh, we also thought about, OK, so we are GIS experts. This is what we do. Uh, but we cannot cover every single use case out of the box. It's just not going to be possible, um, especially the more specialized urban simulation scenarios or the more specialized uh, community outreach programs with uh, so many feature requests that it's not going to be capable of just having it in one package or even make sense to develop it in the same part. So we've also developed a plugin system, um, which uh, basically allows you to uh, create custom applications within the framework. You can use the entire framework the way it is right now and just add a couple of buttons and a window to maybe represent your data. You can use the library. Um, as a library within your own project and recreate the entire layout and add your own plugins to it. Um, we even added a little tool, Jane, to help you out start developing plugins. And we actually hope that it should be really easy to use for non-expert users or non-JS users to be able to just add a button that places trash bins in the city where you, your citizens would maybe like some, something like that. Thanks for your attention. I think my time is almost up. 